Let's try to calculate 10.1 minus 3.93. And I encourage you to pause this video and try it on your own first. And then we can think about whether we did it the same way. So let's just rewrite it, aligning the decimal and the different place values. So 10.1 minus, the three is in the ones place, so I'll put it right under the zero, 3.93. Now let's just try to calculate this. Now, before we subtract, we want all the numbers on top to be larger than the numbers on the bottom. And we don't even have a number here. We could stick a zero here. Gee, let me do it in a different color here. We could stick a zero here. 10.1 is the same thing as 10.10. But we still face an issue here. Zero is less than three. One is less than nine. Zero is less than three. So we're going to have to do a little bit of regrouping. So let's do that regrouping. So we could take a 10 away. 1 10 away, and then 1 10 is the same thing as 10 ones. So I could write a 10 in the ones place. And I could take one of those ones away, so I'm going to have nine ones, and give that one to the tenths place. Well, one is 10 tenths. 10 tenths plus 1 tenth is going to be 11 tenths. Now I could take one of those tenths away and give it to the hundredths place. 1 tenth is 10 hundredths. 10 hundredths. And now I have a higher digit in the numerator, or at least as equal in the numerator as I have in the denominator. So 10 minus 3 is 7. 10 minus 9 is 1. I have the decimal. 9 minus 3 is 6. And then I have nothing over here. So 10.1 minus 3.93, 6.17.